Uh, one of the things about Joomla is uh, uh, now Davey was mentioning that he's got a Joomla website and having trouble adding the uh, the widget for the latest episode okay. from Category Five. The reason for that, Dave, is because um, your that editor. Remember the Weisswig editor or the the uh, it's called Tiny MCE. When I brought up the Joomla content there, it's got that like word looking editor. Okay. That is designed to code things your, itself. So if you paste some code into that or paste code into the HTML source, it's going to strip out some of the code because it wants to maintain the code itself. So if you try to copy our latest episode widget directly into the site, it's going gonna, it's gonna to break, basically. So step one is that we've got to get onto our website, category5.tv, and we're going to be kind of learning two things here because we're going to be learning how to create a module in Joomla, and we're also going to be crea uh, learning how to um, how to basically uh, add this to your website, our website widget. So go to support us, link to us, and website widgets. This is at category5.tv. And right there, just grab that code. This is the code that he's trying to paste directly into uh, a Joomla window. What the, what the latest episode widget does is it actually adds uh, the current episode of the show to your, your own website. And you'll see as I mouse over, it tells you a description of the show. The cool thing about that is after tonight's episode, for example, once the RSS feeds go live first thing tomorrow morning, your website is automatically updated at the same time along with everything else. So you don't have to maintain anything, and it never directs people away from your website because it actually launches in a pop-up window. Um, so it keeps people on your site. It just gives free content to your, your website viewers. So it's kind of wow, that's good. very cool. Uh, and the response has been good too. So once we've copied that uh, that code, and keep in mind that the width is 200 and the height is 150. So when you're placing this on your Joomla site, you want to make sure that it is going to fit within your site. So from your Joomla administrator, first thing we want to do is go into Site and Global Configuration because, as I was saying, um, you want to make sure that this is not going to uh, use the Weisswig editor or your uh, that tiny MCE. So right down at the bottom of the first page, and I'm just being cautious here because I don't know what information is going to come up here that might cause us to be vulnerable. But uh, So you'll see down at the bottom is default Weisswig editor. Turn that off. No Weisswig editor. Weisswig is what you see is what you get. <laughs> so that's like, like it's like a text editor with, with the editing functions, much okay. like a word processor. So that's what that means. So then save those, uh, those changes, and you want to be able to set that back at the end as well. But this is just a temporary thing because we need to paste that in without having tiny MCE uh, pulling, uh, stripping the code out of that. So now we want to click on modules and then site modules. And we're going to just really simply create a new module. Just go new. And then this is going to allow us to create our latest episode module. So title, latest episode of category five. And that's a widget? Well, this is, we're going to paste our widget into this module. If you want to show the title, you can. If you want to hide it, just so that it's just a player, that's fine too. I'm going to leave this at the left position, but you may position that anywhere within your website. And just a hint for you, if you use Joomla, if you want to know your content positions on the website, just at the end of your browser uh, URL, just type question mark TP equals 1. And that's going to actually show you in Joomla all of your website uh, positions. So I'm going to leave it at left, and it's going to drop it down here. It's not showing there. Uh, but I could put it at user 1, user 2, etc. I've got a very highly customized uh, template. But um, So if we want it to be published, yes. If you want it to be available to the public, that's fine. So okay. now, once we go down here, you'll notice that all of that fancy stuff, like bold and italics and everything, is gone because we turned off the Weisswig. So now I paste in our iframe source code for the, for the widget, and that's all there is to it. You can tell it if you want to assign it to different uh, parts of your website or if you just want it to be everywhere. And then we can hit Save. So now if I go back to our website, I'm going to get rid of uh, my module positions. So Robbie, would a module kind of be like a text box in word processing and then you cut and paste things into that text box? Is that uh, well, like how Joomla works is that it, it's a modular system. So you can place things all over the website based on positions. Okay. So you can create a new module like this and place it wherever you want on that website in one of those module positions. So everything that you oh. see on our site, everything, uh, like if you look down the left-hand side, this is the left module position. So our oh, poll okay. is one module. My viewer login system is one module. The search engine is one module. So I can maintain each one of those modules independently. It's very, very sleek. 
we can see, Davey, that's all there was to it. So we've added that widget directly to our website through as a module on category5.tv. So now just make sure that you go back and turn back on your Weisselwig editor because then you won't see code when you uh, go to do it again. Cool? That's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward indeed. Nice and simple. Actually, Robbie, Davey is in the chat room and says hey, thanks Davey. very much. You're welcome. Very helpful. Thank you for uh, spreading the word about Category 5. I'll just quickly, Davey, I'll just mention that I'm using uh, Joomla 1.0.x. So that's what I demonstrated on. If you're using 1.5.x, uh, like a 1.5 version of Joomla, you will be able to find the same stuff. It's just not positioned exactly where I showed you. Uh, but that's just a quick mention.